new videos every day. Hello, this is Kurt Darling, and I'm here to share with you seven big don'ts with a curling iron if you want to get natural, big, sexy hair. So stick around, and we look forward to sharing them with you. So the first tip that I would like to share with you to get big, sexy, cool hair that doesn't look like you're coming straight from the prom is to use multiple sized irons. I'm gonna use two different irons in this look and that way it's not that contrived, rigid, perfect look all from the same size iron. It's just not natural. So working with a one inch iron and a one and a half inch iron is gonna give you the staggered quality that creates a more natural, sexy look. Okay, another tip to get the great sexy curly hair you're looking for is to not curl your hair when it's clean. Clean hair doesn't respond well to irons, it just falls back out. And so a lot of people might think, I wash my hair, I blow dry my hair. First of all, don't curl your hair when it's wet. You wash it, you blow dry it, and then you might think it's time to start using a curling iron, but if you haven't prepared the hair with some type of product like a hairspray, then it's clean, those curls are gonna fall right out. So the tip is, is to prepare your hair, in this case, with an aerosol spray. You can spray aerosol all the way through the hair. It's gonna create more of a rough, pliable quality to the hair, and it's gonna be much more responsive to the irons. This is not the type of spray to use. This is a pump spray, it's a wet spray. Again, it's gonna create moisture in the hair. You're gonna see steam coming off. It's gonna be more like a steam treatment than a curly hairstyle. Okay, another tip I'd like to share with you is teasing the hair before you start curling. So you don't wanna curl your whole head and find out that it's too flat at the roots and start trying to tease it and deconstruct the curls and you find that your curls are falling out. So before you get started, everyone, I like to use this uh, tail comb. With the tail, you can section very clean. And so with that, I'll section in the front and back of this particular section. You can see that this has the three rows, so it grabs the hair really well, pushing down one time and one time only and one time across the front. Just like that, that will give the base, the layers are soft and moving, and that will give you the fullness that you need, then you can start curling. So don't start curling unless you get a little bit of padding in, first of all. And I'm not talking about creating what I like to call like cotton candy. This is not just rat, 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 rat all the way through. It's a very specific intention. Going about halfway, I'm getting some base into the bottom from the front and the back, and then these lengths are smooth and flowing and soft. So you're getting the fullness you want, but the hair is very natural. So for those of you that may have dry ends, brittle ends that you're concerned about, compacting them into a curling iron uh, at the ends and winding that in will just compress them in there and ensure that you burn the ends completely. So the idea is to, uh, in this instance, avoid uh, getting the ends of the hair in the curling iron at all. So I can take a section, for example, across the side, and with this little section, just go in, placing the base of the iron toward the scalp, wrapping the hair around and holding on to those ends. Those very ends never go inside the curling iron. So that way you can get all the curl that you want and you're not going to be sacrificing the ends of your hair. Okay, another big no-no. If you want your curls to last, if you want them to be effective, don't start playing with them immediately after you've put them in the iron. This is one of the biggest no-nos that I see is that someone curls the hair effectively, it's gonna be a good job, but immediately when they take the iron out, they start messing with it. And the, the hair is warm, and so you're pulling the curl right out. And the more you neurotically futz with it, the more you lose your curl. So you wanna leave that curl alone. I'm gonna show one more time how you take a section of hair, you curl that, And once you've got it curled, you leave it alone. Let it cool off. Don't start messing with it. Okay, so another tip I'd like to share with you so you can create the big sexy curls that you want without damaging your hair is to check the heat setting before you get started. We're gonna start on medium, not on hot or extra hot. We'll start on medium, take a little section, Work that through and start to touch and feel the temperature. If it's starting to feel quite hot, you know that it's working, you can take that away. Now, if the hair is very responsive, as it is in this case, we can actually turn that down a little bit. It doesn't even have to be quite on medium because you can see the hair is very responsive. 
and on a day-to-day -day basis using hot tools like that, you want to find the right temperature where your hair is responding and not any hotter. Okay, another big no-no if you want big sexy curls is using the same iron all the way across the head, but in this case, I also want to change the actual texture. So let's say you're using one or two irons, you're getting a little bit of a different curl. Well, that's great. So again, checking for the temperature like we've done before. Don't burn your hair. And then once you've got that curl in place, don't leave it like that. Actually just push it, squash it, do whatever you need to do to create a little bit of confusion right there. And then you can just put a little pin on that. From time to time, doing something like that is going to create an organic, sexy, original look that doesn't look straight from the salon, doesn't look like some prom. This is how to get cool Hollywood sexy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope the tips were beneficial for you. I would love you to give me your comments. Please give me a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, see more at KurtDarling.com.